Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and guys it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series based on orthographic prediction. So we're going to take up yet another problem and it's uh, this one and we're going to be looking at this object from this x sign. This is for having the front view from over here for the top view okay and the side view. This is going to be specifically the right hand side view. Now to start off let's make an xy axis. There you go. Now, initially, what I'm going to be assuming is that the base of this object is at a height of 10 millimeters above HP, something like this. OK, and at the same time that this back portion you see is at a distance of 10 millimeters again from the vertical plane. So it can be seen from the top view. OK, now this portion over here above this XY line represents vertical plane onto which a front view is going to be made, uh, whereas this portion below this XY line is for having the top view. And this is what you call the horizontal plane. All right, let's go ahead and let's find the maximum width as well as the maximum height of this entire object so that I can make a box over here into which I would be inscribing the front view. Now, if you see this portion over here, okay, this should work out as 20. I'll tell you why. Now, from this point to this point, okay, let me show you, let me have a color from this point over here to this point. The distance is 40, okay, this distance is 40. Now, if you try to work out this distance over here from here to here it should work out as 20 all right now since this portion is the radius of this semicircle i'm talking about okay so this distance is also going to work out as 20 all right now this is 20 this is 20 20 plus 20 is 40 and this is going to be 40 40 plus 40 overall should work out as 80 millimeters so the maximum width of the rectangle that we're going to be drawing over here is going to be 80 and at the same time this height okay now all these semicircular profiles that you see all of them are going to be having radius equivalent to 20 millimeters okay since all of them are absolutely congruent to each other now the next thing that we need to discuss is from this center to this center over here this distance is 60 millimeters and if you go upstairs this is going to be 20 um let me show you how this distance i'm talking about guys try to work out this distance it should work out as 20 and when you speak of this distance uh, let me have a dotted line um this is also going to work out as 20 so if you take the entire height of this object, it should work out as 20 plus 60 plus 20, that is 100. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a rectangle of horizontal distance is going to be 80, whereas the vertical height is going to be 100. That's it. Now initially we're going to kick off our drawing uh, with this point over here. Okay, right. So the point is somewhere here. It cannot be seen exactly, but this point appears as if uh, it, we need to travel a distance of 12 millimeters. So this is the distance that we're going to travel 12 millimeters. The point is right over here. Okay. And it would appear as if there is a strip of it 12 millimeters. So let's make a 12 millimeter strip. And then from here, we're going to go upstairs, upstairs until we reach this center line. Okay. Center line. So essentially what I'm going to be doing, this is 60 and down below it's 20. So I'll be traveling a distance of 80 millimeters. So this distance that I've traveled right now is 80 millimeters until we reach here. There you go. Now, when you speak of this center, guys, okay, let me use a different color for this. Um, let me use, uh, what color shall I use? Okay, let me use a purple color for this. Okay. Okay. So this center I'm talking about appears as an, at a distance of 20 millimeters. So this is going to be 20 millimeters. All right. From this over here to this over here, 20. Fine. So let us make a center. There you go. That's the center I'm talking about. And with this as the center, okay and a radius equivalent to how much this is going to be 20 i'm going to be drawing a semicircle now again with this as the center and radius equivalent to eight millimeters let me tell you why eight millimeters this circle that you see appears to have a diameter of 16 so diameter is 16 obviously the radius is going to be eight so with this as center let's draw a circle of radii eight millimeters now now that we've reached here we've reached here let me show you again we've reached here this point so I'm going to come downwards by an amount of 20 millimeters. Okay, 20 millimeters. So let's travel in the downward direction. Yeah, that's it. And <clears throat> let me write this down. This is how much? This is 20. And now I need to move over here. Absolutely straight until we reach here. Okay, that's something. It should look something like this. And we, we've reached here. All right. That means this point is over here. And over here. All right. Now we need to travel in the downward direction somewhere here. This distance is going to be 12 millimeters. Okay, there you go. That's 12. So let's travel by an amount of 12 millimeters. Okay, that's 12 millimeters. Let me write it down. And then the next thing to do 
is to have a vertical line from this point in the upper direction and from from this point in the horizontal direction but towards the left hand side okay and both of them are going to intersect here let me show you how that can be done that is exactly exactly that's exactly what i was trying to say okay now the outlines are over the next thing to do is to have this axis from the center have this axis also this axis also now let us uh, try to figure out this particular point now now guys this particular point you see appears at a distance of 20 millimeters from over here so from over here i'm going to be making an axis at a distance of 20 millimeters with the help of these so-called dash dot lines okay now this distance i'm talking about this distance you see now since this circle is having a diameter of 16 this distance is going to be 8 millimeters so towards the right i'm going to be having a hidden line something like this and towards the left I'm, again i'm going to be having a hidden line there you go so what is the next thing that you're going to do you see this point now this point in fact let me this is 20 okay height of this point center point is 20 so at a distance of 20 millimeters i'm gonna have to make an axis there you go and this distance is eight and below that is also eight so at a height of eight you're gonna have a hidden line at a height below you're again gonna have a hidden line so this distance if you try to ask me what this distance is this is eight millimeters okay over here also this is 8 millimeter i'm going to be deleting all these so-called line all these so-called uh, dimensions which i've written down i'm going to be deleting them at the end of this video tutorial now let's go ahead and let's see what else can be seen or what else can cannot be seen but it is there okay now there is an edge behind this in this direction okay i cannot show you exactly let me let me try to do that like this edge like this edge you see over here similarly there is an edge behind something behind the surface let me try to make that it's gonna look something like this there is an edge gonna be behind all right now this edge cannot be seen directly but it has to be given some respect since it has its presence and that can only be done with the help of a hidden line so from over here till here in a very horizontal sort of a way we're gonna be drawing hidden lines there you go so the front view is almost done we will now go ahead and make the final top view all right guys this uh, object appears to have a width of 80 millimeters you know that very well and as far as this length is concerned something that you're going to see from the top this distance 12 plus 16 is 28 28 plus 12 is 40 so i'm going to be making a rectangle of 40 by 80 and it should look something like this this is 40 and this over here is 80 now what's next okay now starting from this point corresponds to this point okay let me let me again that's it where is it yeah so this sort of a semicircle then there is this line until we reach this center point okay center point over here the center point this is the center line until we reach somewhere here approximately and somewhere here you're gonna see a straight line okay when you try to look at this from the top when you try to look at this from the top this portion will look as a straight line and this portion also will look as a straight line let me show that that's it this is the portion that i was talking about and obviously you can have these lines so-called lines reference lines from the front view so that it becomes easier for you to make this top view now we will now go ahead and locate this center this center appears at a distance of 20 millimeters from here or here whatever let us say starting from this point i'm going to be traveling a distance of 20 millimeters so that i can have a center over here now with this as center and with radius obviously this radius is 20 millimeters so i'm going to be making an arc or a semicircle i should say something like this yeah and again with this as center and with this and this as the extreme points of a circle or you can also say uh, taking a radii of eight millimeters you can draw a circle and it should look something like this let's get rid of the center now what's next you see this portion this is some kind of a strip that you're going to see that starts from here and ends here starts from here and ends here and in the front view it starts here and ends here that means there are going to be strips over here okay and over here all right now this is 12 this is 16 and this is 12 so at a distance of 12 let, let me do that quickly so okay let me let me provide the dimensions this is 12 this is 16 and this again is 12 let us close this okay let us close this there you go exactly here 
and there you go exactly here done the top view is almost done but with a few modifications still to be carried out what else is left now there is going to be this circle okay the cylindrical drill that you see a uh, hole that you see uh, which is going to be seen uh, from the top also okay the limits are you're going to have initially an axis okay let me show that you're going to have an axis over here passing through this point so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having an axis at a distance of say 20 millimeters from over here. So this point is 20 millimeters from over here. This point I'm talking about 20 millimeters from this end. So from 20 millimeters from this end, I'm going to be having axis, something like this. So an axis for this profile also, this prof this hole also and for this hole also for both of them. So I've made the axis and to be very specific, if you try to work out this distance I'm talking about this distance is 8 and at the same time this distance also is 8 all right so 8 millimeters towards the left from the center and 8 millimeters towards the right of the center I'm gonna be having hidden lines so those hidden lines are gonna be for the front hole also and for the back hole also and it should look something like this and okay that's exactly what I was talking about this distance is 8 millimeters and this also is 8 millimeters if you try to figure out how much this distance is this is how much this is 20 millimeters that's all okay let me tell you once again that you guys don't need to write all of this 12 16 and stuff you don't need to do all of this stuff okay and i'm just writing all of this to explain you how this dimensions are transformed from this pictorial representation into this orthographic projection now in the next step let's see what else can be done there is something else which can be seen okay if you try to visualize this object from the top there is an edge which is there whose presence should be felt something like this there is an edge over here okay 12 millimeters from over here there is an edge so let us uh, make that edge okay let us complete this something like this okay this is the entire edge all right now we'll now go ahead and create the what you call the right hand side view and for that we have to look at this object from over here so let's have a reference line initially so that we can have a this is what you call a profile plane this is what you call a vertical plane onto which this front view has been made and this uh, to be very specific is the horizontal plane now let's have these this is the line at an angle of say 45 degrees all right let's have these lines and let's let's uh, shift this line these lines so called uh, in the upper direction all right something like this will happen yeah pretty good okay fine let's have the lines from the front view also to which this left hand side okay so these are the intersection points now we'll now go ahead and this portion you see this line all right this is the strip i'm talking about let me show which portion i have drawn right now this is the portion that i have drawn right now okay from here to here okay then this is the portion that i have drawn right now this one all right and then finally this this is the portion that i've drawn right now and we can locate the center so this center is going to be at a distance of 20 millimeters from over here from this end 20 millimeters towards the right locate the center with this as the center make a semicircle of 20 millimeter radii okay something like this and again with that center itself you're going to have to make another circle okay of 8 millimeter radii something like this will happen now travel upstairs something like this there you go finally this now this strip is 12 millimeters so we're gonna have to travel 12 from this point towards the right and 12 from this point towards the left something like this and then travel downwards until you reach this edge over here this edge I'm talking about this edge all right there you go now when you try to look at this object from the front this semicircular portion will appear as a line okay hence you're gonna have a line over here something like this and this semicircular portion again will appear as a line but 12 millimeters below 12 millimeters below okay that's it now what else can you see from the front you're gonna have to see this axis so called axis you know from this point you're gonna see an axis from this point you're gonna see an axis so this point corresponds to this point in the front view and you try to keep your scale over here then you can have this axis also okay or you can also say you can make this distance as 20 millimeters let me write that down so this distance is going to be 20 millimeters from this point to this point that's 20 all right and at this distance you can make this axis for this circular profile as well as this circular profile now let us go ahead and uh, the starting point and uh, this is the ending point 
8 millimeters above and 8 millimeters below for both these profiles and the hidden lines are here there you go so what else is left is there something else that you're going to see all right now we're going to go ahead and make this profile so it starts from here and ends here because we are looking at this object from over here that is from the right hand side okay and it should be um, something like this this uh, this profile i'm talking about please see where the mouse is hovering there you go and that's it there you go exactly okay and there you go from here all right that's the axis okay you can say that this axis uh, at a distance of 20 millimeters from over here 20 millimeters from here and then towards 8 millimeters towards this left we're gonna have a hidden line and 8 millimeters towards the right also we're gonna have a hidden line okay so guys that was all as far as the orthographic or multi views are concerned we'll now go ahead and make this some sort of an arc you see okay let us see now i'm going to be making that stuff on autocad it's it's going to be very easy let me show you how that can be done all right guys so that's the profile that i've made and if you try to look at this object from over here from this x mark uh, from the front there appears as curve slightly curved like this over here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a fillet of this uh, let us Try to do that there you go all right and let me slightly clip this portion ah, perfect now this portion in fact is also appears as a fillet so what i've done is i've made a small quarter arc you can say or a quarter circle you can say of a radii five millimeters that's exactly what we've done okay over here also i'm going to provide a fillet that's it is there anything else that we can do or we should do no from the front the fillet filleting is done from the front okay when you try to look at this object from over here that is from the right hand side there is a fillet over here also and a fillet over here also let's so let's go ahead and do that um let us do that let me use the fillet command where is it where is it yeah yeah there you go again i'm going to be using this fillet command for this and this there you go all right so guys that was all from my side if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you guys believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing or engineering graphics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of you can learn engineering drawing in the best possible way I'm going to be taking up some more problems based on orthographic prediction in the upcoming weeks and the level of difficulty definitely is going to rise. You'll see that. Until then, it's a wrap for today, guys. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care. Have a great day and keep drawing.